What's going on, guys? This is Game with Lonzo Nation. Got some Fortnite gameplays. You see me use the ability right there. I'm getting shot at from the mountains. So one of our teammates, it was me, Minor Threat, and two random. One of our teammates, the one who's down, just decided to go push this team. No strategy, nothing. Just, just go push a four-on-one when they're all on high ground, and he got down. Not sure what the strategy was there. And that's the problem a lot of the Fortnite community is they want kills so bad, but they don't strategize. They don't pay attention to the circle. Like, if that player was paying attention to the circle, you see what we're doing right now. We're just holding this team because they got to rotate to us. So, I mean, stuff like that's important. Kill, kills will come, obviously, but you got to strategize along with it to really take advantage of, you know, where these teams are located or where they're coming from on the map or whatever. If that player is eliminated, Victor Royale to start off this clip as we just held this team. So this is me and DZ. I think we were in squads or actually we were in trios, but DZ didn't have the filling option on. So we were in duo trios, but even with the eyes stacked against us, we're trying to get this winner. Right now, this player is in a pretty much a three on one with the AI, I guess, counting to some help. The odds are stacked against them. They're trying to build for their life. They're trying, but they're probably running out of materials since they're using the wood and they are done. So another victory royale as me and DZ clutch up and get the win. So this player's shooting at my teammate and they are eliminated. So five players remaining. Another double digit kill game for me. I was in my bag. I've been in my bag a lot in Fortnite lately. I feel like even though it's a new season, they took out my MK, my precious MK. That was my baby, the MK. I love that gun. It's a shame they took it out. And you got these stupid bees. I wish they would take that and the Raptors out, but I understand it's part of the jungle thing they're doing. But man, that shit is so annoying when you're fighting somebody and that Raptor just runs at you and starts biting you and it takes half your health. It does more damage than half the guns in this game as that player is eliminated. So their teammate tries to use the ability. I'm trying to shoot him. Getting low on ammo though. I could be done, but they run out of ammo as well, and they are eliminated, so I really got through that one barely without dying right there. That that was tough. So got the Bianca Belair skin. Really one of my favorite skins. I think they did a hell of a job with the WWE skins with Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch. I think eventually they're going to put Roman Reigns in this game. I've been saying that for a while. I was actually telling some of my friends they should put Belair in this game, and they did because she kind of fits... You know, the Fortnite kind of wave of characters as that player's done as they were trying to build. By, by the way, rest in peace to Bray Wyatt, man. That news is terrible. Any WWE fans out there, it's, it's a sad situation. I feel bad for his family, for his kids, because he has young kids. I think he just had a kid with JoJo Offerman, former WWE ring announcer. You know, it, it sucks, man. I didn't realize Bray. I heard he had health problems. And you see me use the ability right here with Bel Air. That player ends up getting hit with the ability, and that is a W. But back to Bray Wyatt, I didn't realize his health condition was that bad. I did hear he had heart problems, or just not really heart problems, just health problems in general, but didn't realize they were so severe. So rest in peace to Bray Wyatt and to Terry Funk and Bob Backlund. A lot of deaths this week, just, just a bad week, you know, when it comes to deaths. So right here, I'm third partying. I think I got like three or four knocks just from... Sitting up here with the MK. So here more teams over here shooting. So we're going to try to get up on the high ground. Pick them off and try to get this W. Had 15. All 15 of my team skills came for me this game. I was in my bag. Another knock right there. As Goddess wants to join the party. We'll see her in the next clip. That player is trying to build. The three on one though. Can they clutch up right here? I shouldn't have had him killed right here. I missed a few shots. So they're really on minimal health and trying to build at the same time as they end up getting eliminated for the win. So this is me, uh, me, Goddess, and DZ right here. As Goddess was trying to join last game, so we end up getting her in the group. See me and DZ with the crowns. Going to open this chest. Six players remaining, had 11 kills. Using the Becky Lynch skin, another dope skin they added. Big time Bex. Becky two belts. I feel like WWE really lost a lot of momentum as you see us get the win right there. I feel like they really, like not that Becky's not 
still a big star, but I feel like when she was the man, that was kind of her peak, and now she's kind of just there. As that player wasn't even moving, and we get the win. So AFK for the win right there. This player is trying to jump, get the knock with the MK, and finish him off with the exotic pistol. But Becky really just feels like she's in like no man's land right now. I mean, the feud with Trish Stratus has been kind of a joke. I mean, I haven't really enjoyed it. I haven't, I haven't watched WWE as much as I used to. I still watch pay-per-views. I, you know, see on Twitter what happens on the shows and stuff. But it seems like her and Trish's feud is just like never ending. And I just don't think Trish should have came back. But WWE just doesn't have a lot of women with Sasha leaving and. You know, I mean, they got Belair and Rhea, but they just haven't really had a strong women's division in a few years since the four horse women haven't really been on top in a while. And WWE suffered for it, but right here it's me, DZ, Minor, and a random. This is a weird circle because we're at the racetrack. And it's really a weird circle at the racetrack because there's just so many areas around you and you get hit from so many high grounds there's so many mountains around as that player is rebooting DZ and the other team may go and take care of them there's still two more where me and minor are at so we're trying to keep track of them as well so the player ends up getting his teammates back but they are knocked right away they tried to use the grapple glove but it was to no prevail right there so the other two were in the air and they're in the worst possible spot you can be in. I've been there before where you just get rebooted, but you're in the final two teams. You have no health. You have no guns. It's really just a tough spot to be in because you know the other teams have gold, purple, exotic guns, and you have a pistol as we end up clutching up for the win. That team tried. So me, minor, click, and amused bind. As that player got a few hits on me right there. So I'm going to use this. I always forget what the Saints so going to call it the launcher. As that player tried jumping, they are knocked. The other teammate trying to get some slurp juice didn't see me on the other side of the tree. They are knocked as well. As the AI is throwing grenades and trying to go crazy. So it's a four on two. Looking in good shape. Muse buying going over there to pick up some loot. Looks like the other player is in the air and the other one is down either by the water or in the water. I'm trying to rotate, circle going to be coming soon, so we got to make sure we're at least near the circle so we don't get held, even though it's a 4 on 2, you never know. Now a 4 on 1. That player's in the bush. They're trying to jump to the left, minor threat sees them, and takes care of them for the win. So good way to stay together and take care of that team. So again, me, minor, the Ray Cook, who you guys have seen in a few of my clips, and a random. Had 15, was going crazy. Don't know how this player didn't kill me. Looks like they were focused on the other teammate because I was right in front of him and really didn't even see him at first. There's the other teammate. I got the legendary shotgun. They try to get away but they are knocked and then go flying after they're knocked. That's kind of funny. So the bounty behind us. Looks like there's a lot of shooting going on in the water. There's one dude trying to rotate. They end up using their grapple glove which saved their life right there. They would have been done without that. They end up flying towards the bridge probably to the rest of their teammates. Still looking around. Miner in here getting some loot. So time to rotate. The other teammates down below. Looks like there's one across trying to snipe. They are one shot. Just miss a few shots. Man, they are literally one shot as they fall down the hill. Got one in the water over there. They are officially eliminated anonymous. So here comes the storm. We gotta go. Probably the best strategy here is to take the zip line up and try to play the high ground and pick them off in the water as Miner gets elimination in the back 10 players remaining there's a bunch of players looks like they're fighting in the water I'm trying to see they're kind of blending in hard to see right now there's an elimination on quack the other teammate is one shot possibly but I run out of ammo looks like an AI in the back that player get a few hits on him, missing some shots. Gonna use this ability to try to make him rotate forward or see what happens. So it looks like we took care of all the, all the players in the water. And I don't really see nobody else. Soft footsteps, but don't see anybody. Still looking around. The other teammates down below. 
So there's one down over there. Looks like Miner got the knock. I take care of him for the finish. Three on two. Looks like the other two are solos. There's the other one in the street. I get a few hits. End up shooting at the motorcycle or the dirt bike instead. But Miner gets the final snipe on him. So it's a three on one. If I had to guess, they're up there near these houses. And it looks like they tried sniping me right there. Almost had me. They're trying to rotate, but the other teammate, Hawks, runs up to the right of them. And they are done. So we took care of them. Good way to play angles. So right here, I'm rebooting DZ back. Him and Renewed Whale. I think they were either both AFK or Renewed Whale was doing his own thing. I don't know what was going on, but Renewed Whale landed like all the way on the other side of the map. So we really couldn't get Whale back at this moment. But ended up getting DZ back. Gonna land, try to get some good loot. Usually this racetrack has some decent loot. I gotta make sure my health's 100% because teams always pop up over here with that ball spawning and really just a popular area because there's so many areas you can rotate to this area from either Slappy or the racetrack or the jungle area. So my guns are decent. And I'm gonna mark where Renewed is so we can go and try to get them back eventually if she toxic as fuck would like to join the party. So we're gonna get this exotic pistol. Gonna make sure at least got something. Gonna grab the car. Looks like there's a lot of shooting going on over here. Gonna see if I can get a few knocks. Even though I don't get a long range weapon, I do have this hammer. So hopefully it works out for the best right here. Bianca Bell there looking to take out some people here. Maybe hit them with the KOD in Fortnite. Endless Mike is knocked. Officially eliminated. There's another one down below. They get knocked by somebody else. There's one on the right. Another one shooting behind the tree. There's, there's just a lot going on. Man, I wish I had my MK right now because it would have been clutch right here. If that player is knocked, string cheese. Trying to use the hammer, get a few hits. The hammer has to reload. These players' aim is just terrible. I mean, they've gotten a few hits, but with how many times they've been shooting at me, I mean, my aim hasn't been perfect either, but that player's knocked. Dragon, and here's the final player, it looks like. They're trying to shoot me with a shotgun from long range. They're trying to build. I gotta use the hammer. They're one shot, and I end up taking care of them. So I don't know if that's me just being a goat right there, or that whole team or teams being bad, but hey, I'll take it. It was a good clip but man that team's aim was just terrible so we got me minor and uncle daddy right here 3v2 this is actually a tough fight because even though we have the high ground this team really knew how to play the head glitches so one was like to the far right you see them shooting like on a massive heady over there i mean we could you know hold them because we got it you know we got to rotate to the circle we got a kind of a clearer path than they do to it. And man, them head glitches they are on were insane. That's for sure. But now it's time to rotate, so we'll see how this goes. Looks like one's trying to use the grapple glove. The other one's down to the right. Looking to see if they peek again. Both of them. I end up getting a knock. That's a key knock right there. It's a 3v1. I'm going to go down to push. I didn't know if they were trying to revive or not. I didn't want to give them any benefit of the doubt. Looks like that player saw me running to him. He tried to use the grapple glove, but couldn't go too far. And they are done. So we get the win right here. That player is knocked. Cheese tried to get away. Same trio. Me, Miner, and Uncle Daddy. Final clip of this video right here. We're looking around. And really you gotta be paying attention because there's so many objects people can hide over here at Cheeky Compound. We gotta rotate. You guys know how the circles are late in games. There's one straight ahead. Don't think they see me. They are knocked. Making sure the bees don't attack me. Looks like there's one over there. That's the same player down. We're looking around. See if we can see this final player. Me and Uncle Daddy looking to finish off this video with a W. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate. And see footsteps to my right. Looks like they're behind the tree to the left. They don't see me. 
and they are finished. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe.